So, okay. so just-in-time architecture. Here's a fundamental challenge that we have when we do Agile. How much architecture is enough? How much architecture will we put up front, if it's even feasible? And here's some of the elements that we describe. When we, some of the guiding principles are changeability. I want to be able my code to change. Architecture is important in how your code changes. How much architecture beforehand? Just-in-time design. Talked about the Toyota um, deferred commitment. That's a very interesting pa paradigm that actually maps into, into software. The, the, the idea being that as Toyota was doing the actual development for, for, for the hybrid products, they didn't know certain parts that they were going to use down, 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 the, down the future, right? Down, down, the, uh, later on in the process. So what they did is they had two, three different designs going in parallel. At the time that they had information, they selected the right part. Moved back to technology, software development. As you develop some elements, you really don't know some, some, some decisions that can make technical decisions because you don't have enough critical mass of data, knowledge, to make those decisions. Get two parallel tracks that could, for example, try to do web services uh, way, way, uh, with two different ways. And at the point where you have enough documents, enough data, you select the right thing. Looks counterintuitive, but it's not. Because if you were waiting until the moment you had the data, all the data to make a decision, then your whole thing would have to halt to the point where now your development happens. Um, the, other thing, the other thing that you need to do in terms of architecture, which I think is very important, is this box of boxes. You need to have a target. You need to know what your vision is. You need to know where you go in terms of architecture. Select your architecture, select your vision. Maybe it's a BPM driven saw. Design then all the, all the, in box of boxes, all the layers, all the components, the constituents of, constituents of your architecture. Then as a new requirement comes in, make sure that that requirement, map it, and see what is the impact that you would have in this box of boxes. Bob, ask Bob, right? So as you do that, as you do that, then you can create your bill of materials, and that will give you exactly the control points you need in your sprints. Thank you very much. Thank you.